Good morning, Deify here, and welcome back to Kitty Powers Love Life, where, yeah, I forgot, we're in our new town of Sun Sun Stairs. Alana Highgate has something annoying that she'd like to talk to us about. So we had our full-on talking episode in the last one, where um, we set up our town, got everything ready. I mistakenly uh, deleted the... Uh, abandoned mansions assuming I would not need one it would be pretty funny if I could like kick people out of their mansions and maybe it would turn into an abandoned one I don't think it's going to work out that way but it uh, that'd be that'd be a fun little Easter egg <laughs> okay let's talk about your problems Do we have intimacy issues per chance that would be my excitement I mean it looks like um, well, I see chores, but she can't complain about that. She can complain about her partner. So it's going to be a problem with your partner, but is it going to be outfit or intimacy? Ooh. All right, we're off to a good... I, I think we should leave it. I think we should leave it. Now, Alana, do you have any friends? I think we should get you some friends. Reality TV, celebrity fashion, and smartphones. Could be a little difficult. But, um, yeah, we don't have too much going on. Fuck music. Callie might like smartphones because edgy and geeky usually do fairly well together. Let's, let's try that one out. All right, our friendship parade is starting as Pixie's going to try and become friends with Farah. Let's see if we can make this work out. Sharing internet memes? Come on, surely. Oh, wow. How do you hate the memes? Well, VIP? Should we just uh, go for it? I mean, we're gonna need to do something eventually, right? This is going to be a do or die kind of town. Either you become friends, or you live long enough to see yourself become enemies. Yeah, I think that's how it goes. Oh my god, wow, I didn't even realize that I had. Wow, I didn't think that I had started the pinball game. Now that's a little crazy. Hmm. I was gonna try my best to fix that, but shucks. Things happen, I guess. My gosh, do we already have it? Uh, it's either gonna... No, we already talked about the lake, so I think we're gonna have more intimacy problems. Yeah, VIPs are running rampant on this stuff. Let's just... We cool? We'll be good, right? It's okay, but we do need to get you some friends. Hmm. We have some things scheduled. Do we have anyone else who might like internet memes? It's apparently not uh, going to be... Callie, probably. Crocheting, plane spotting... Hmm, Beatrix. Let's try Beatrix. I don't know. I thought internet memes would be geeky, and therefore the edgy people would like it, but apparently I am wrong. Wow, you guys have no time to hang out together. Best hope you get, you know, more friends soon, I suppose, because <laughs> that's going to take a while. Okay, well, that's all we can do for you, because you already have two others scheduled. Okay, Matilda and Pixie trying to become friends now. That's an interesting one. Was I trying to make them enemies? Because uh, she's not going to like pondering the mystery of black holes. That must have been what I was going for, is that these two are both VIPs, which would, you know, make a lot of sense. So, I mean, hopefully this time the pinball game won't start without me being aware of it. I just... I need a couple seconds to prepare to, uh, you know, try, because I want to make sure that... Uh, Oh, let's get some stretching going so we can win at pinball, and here we go! I'm really not understanding this game right now. Okay, Matilda and Edna now. Hopefully this one will work out. I would like to get... like, it's crocheting, right? You like crocheting? Okay, good. We actually have some friends in this town. Finally, that took a little bit longer than I would have thought. So do either of them have intimacy problems yet? Edna does not, but who was the other one? It was Matilda. She does not either, but I think everyone's kind of complaining about it. Like, if I go to her uh, kitty feed, filter this, like, yeah, everyone 
kind of already is complaining about it. That's a little surprising. I guess I chose everything very well in this town. Like, uh, good golly, the intimacy problem started, I believe, day one. Like, when they turned in, they're just like, oh, this wasn't good enough for me. Like, all right, Verity, the entertainment manager. What a pretty name. Like, the lake in Pokemon. <gasps> Mr. Pickles Puppet Parade! All oh, weird. Totally going to watch Mr. Pickles Puppet Parade, as long as you don't give me that stupid event program. I don't need any more event programs, okay? That is my only stipulation. Give me something useful, alright? Please? Please? Stick that in the gift shop for you. Ooh, love juice sales lady. Oh. I can afford one. I can afford one because I really don't plan on giving anyone makeovers. Uh, at least not extensive makeovers, so I think we'll be okay. I would like to have that all on hand so that um, if I decide to move people forward, we can just fix the intimacy problems without a hitch. Like, just everyone chug some of this stuff, it'll make you feel so much better. Not two problem. problems here. Alright, let's go with one. Is it problem partner? Behavior? Intimate time together? Alright. And then, uh, yep, that one will be fine. Don't worry about it. That's not even a real problem. Personal problem? Like, ooh, problem somewhere in town? <gasps> no. Oh, is it job? No, shopping mall. She said she likes it. Let's go shopping mall. She hates it there, so, uh... I think we should make a compromise on this one. Probably stay away. Do we have anywhere for edgy types to go? That is actually a very good question. It would be really nice if we had somewhere like, oh, maybe like a derelict building of sorts. What, what could you possibly call it? You know, like a building that maybe people haven't lived in for quite a while. Um, that edgy people can hang around. Hmm. I don't know. I will think on that one and see if I can help you out, Farah. Oh, so here we go. So yeah, so we need a fairground and a racetrack if we want to do any of your stuff. So let's get you... I'm thinking you and Callie should be fine with military uniforms, though. But this is what I was kind of hoping to avoid, was needing too many um, uh, locations, at least at the start because I would like to not have them. But yeah, I don't think we have anything for edgy people. That's a little bit of a problem. Pixie and Claudia are trying to become friends now. What I should do next is pick friends who um, hopefully both have intimacy problems. Jeez. Jeez. Okay, Pixie, you're gonna be the most hated person in this town, I can tell you that. But I think if I can find two friends who have intimacy problems, I should give them makeovers to be as attracted to each other as possible. So I think that will be what I look to do. And granted, that will be mostly changing hair color because not a lot of money. I only have 54 coins right now. The Pixie. You're not uh, really making the best of friends right now. You know that, right? Come and get your lovely corkscrews. Buy one, get one free. It's the deal of the day. Whoa, two corkscrews for the price of one. Head of sales. Interest. Is this... You know what? I mean, I don't know. This is a little different. I'm not sure if it's just... Is this just normal? Like, okay, so I don't think the corkscrews were the actual gift. I was very confused. Oh, buy one, get one free voucher. Probably should have seen that coming. That was kind of interesting. I've never seen that before. That must, must just be the shopping mall kind of thing. I'm running very, very low on money, though, so please. I need... I need to find Regina, first of all, and then every little bit helps. Alright, Alana, your partner just messaged me saying she wants to get engaged. I don't know if that's really going to happen. Do you like looking at the smartphones? Okay, good, good. You like looking at the smartphones. Now, I just need Callie to have some intimacy problems. If we can pull that off, then we have a pretty good bet right there. First things first, because if I recall, there was quite a bit of attraction going one way, and then we just needed to give her dusty pink hair. And, uh, that would be That would be very good. 
<laughs> She'd like to have a chatteroonie with me. I always say stuff like that. I have one friend at work named uh, Weston, and I call him West the Rooney. I'm just like, man, I love adding uni to things. It's really good. One of my favorite things. <laughs> All right, uh, loving this time together. Oh, what should we talk to about? Good God, gosh, I have no idea. I guess we can talk about social. Let's see what's going on in your guys' little brains when it comes to party. Okay, yep. Drop everything. Ooh, that's not gonna work out too well. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, things aren't going so well. Pixie! Pixie, I need you to get some friends. I see you have intimacy problems. Get some friends, alright? Okay, now's Pixie again trying to become friends with Edna. This time, is this the new one we just set up? Or no, I don't think so. Do you like running around in tracksuits with me? It's kind of fat. Pixie! You are going to be enemies with everyone. I don't know if any affairs will come your way, but I can tell you that one thing's for certain, you <laughs> will not have an enemy problem, that's for sure. She's gonna complain, she's like, oh, I don't spend enough time with friends. I'll be like, what friends? We have the sporty type. So, um, hopefully everything should be okay, we can run around in track suits with her. I think she just didn't know her at the time. So, uh... I guess we just gotta wait, and uh, hope that everyone meets and just keep trying to make friends as the days go on. Easy jackpot on the aspirin game, I love that free money. Oh gosh, you guys are doing way too well right now. Have intimacy problems! Come on! can't do this to me. You guys should work different shifts, right? Or are you guys the ones that work the same shift? Because I think we had that problem. I don't even remember who I just helped. It was Jennifer Winter away and Beatrix. So you work during the day and uh, yeah, you guys, okay, so you guys may not have intimacy problems until we upgrade Jennifer to a new job. So maybe we should look for that. There we go, two-star bar manager, two-star stand-up comedian. What type are you? Backgammon super yachts, colonic hydrotherapy. Chic, be my guess. So I say we go for bar She's manager and give that to Jennifer, okay? Everything will be wonderful. Replace backgammon. And do we have any other new jobs that are good? Does not look like it. Nope, we're all good on that front. And then Jennifer, yeah, should've known. Should've known, Jennifer, that's not gonna happen. Oh, Kimberly's birthday is today. Really, October 5th? Hold up, you're lying, right? Oh, well, how about that? Do we have any other birthdays coming up? Hmm, will we get to Pixie in a month? I don't know. That one will be a test right there. No, no. Oh, we might get to Matilda's also. Okay, cool, cool. So we might have a couple of birthdays in this, in this town before we start moving people out, depending on how long they take to, uh, you know, kind of just go and sleep with other people. Because that's really the ultimate goal, I suppose. Oh boy, look at his cornrows. Arthur, the senior warden. Cornrows and mutton chops. Would you like to feed the ducks? Uh, heck yeah, you can feed the ducks. Sure, go for that. Still have 60 coins. I would really, really prefer for them to give me ones where they get sad, but I get paid. That's the important part, I think. But, uh, oh, come on. Not even gonna give me a gift? I put the lake here for a reason, Arthur. I gave you a job for a reason. So we have a job for a VIP celebrity vegan chef. Isabel Chef. <laughs> Not chef. There is no T there. Isabel is the only one who can take it. You work nights, you work days, and chef is evening. It's not optimal, but Alana already has intimacy problems. Mm, mm, that's a tough one. Because they would have more time together. 
But uh, let's not turn down a VIP. We might as well uh. try for it. And because we can always change her job later if we need to. But let's just, yeah, let's just go for it. I forgot I still kind of need to do some lookouts for Regina to give me the coins. <laughs> Darn, that I oh so need. Farah and Callie, these guys should be able to become friends because we're just marching around in military uniforms, right? So that's, uh, that's all we need to. You're not edgy, are you? No, wait, it was you who didn't like the geeky, you didn't like the memes. What are you? Interesting. I, I need more money. I need more money to figure out everyone's types. Actually, maybe these two, maybe I shouldn't um, make enemies. I know I said it's going to be like a, I said it's going to be a do or die type thing, but if I thought she was edgy, that means there's a reason, which means she probably has edgy things and can be friends with uh, Farah here. So I'll try that out. Oh man, you, you hate her job as a celebrity high diver? Oh god, I don't even know why I hit that one. Uh, be, hmm. Okay. So it's not the celebrity high diver thing. Intimate time? But you've already complained. Have you not already? No, you've complained about that, so I don't think it's that. It's pretty cool being that. Intimate time, shopping mall. My gosh. Um, her so it's hmm, something about her behavior. But I don't know what it is. Okay, so we're going to have to bring you in again. Interesting. Maybe you'll complain about it a little bit more. Military uniforms, pickup trucks, and unicycles. See, the colorful skinny jeans and the knife throwing will definitely work. And that's why I thought she would be edgy. Military uniforms, maybe it's because they're practical. Do we have someone who would like practical things? Hmm. Maybe you board games iron oh no eliza might i think eliza might like it let's try that out and i will need to invite farah in again tomorrow and i'll invite callie in to get her to be friends with farah i think i think that's the strategy i'm going to go with all right isabel uh i don't really know if you look like a celebrity vegan chef right now so that may be a little bit of a problem i kind of forgot about that part of it oh but you'll make it up with your mood right yeah we don't really look like celebrity vegan chef don't know what it wants hipster hippie I mean, we'll see what happens if we get it we get it if we don't there are worse things in the world structured environment uh let's say we probably want a structured environment you want your kitchen to run smoothly active or relaxed that's a tough one, because um, you're running around the kitchen, but I wouldn't really call it active. I'll go relaxed. And then uh, perform when nobody is watching or in front of a large group of people. Probably nobody watching when you're a celebrity. Maybe they, like, you have a TV thing. All right, so that didn't, that didn't work out. Whatever. Who? We don't need that celebrity vegan chef job anyways. Whatever. All right, Matilda, here's the test. Problem with your partner? Behavior? Intimate time together? Ooh, well, how about that? Just leave it. It'll be fine. Um, let's talk about your friends. Your friends. You're friends with Edna, who is a VIP who does not have intimacy problems right now. So that's not the greatest. Let's see, what do you have? Crocheting, plane spotting, and black holes. Do we have someone... I don't know if we have a geeky type. What is? What even is plane spotting? Is that like a practical thing? So you're just looking at planes or something, right? All right, Callie, glad to see you here. You're going to spend some time with Farah. You're going to, okay, you can't practice knife throwing, but you can buy some colorful skinny jeans. Or have we tried this before and edgy people don't like colorful skinny jeans? They're more of a glam thing. That actually sounds familiar, even though I'd consider bright red skinny jeans to be uh, 
an edgy thing. Do we have a glam person? Internet? Oh, we have Pixie. Pixie would probably like to buy some colorful skinny jeans if I had to guess. I think you and Pixie could be pretty good friends. Now, if we can get the knife throwing, so getting the fairground, that's two two people that can do things then, so that might be pretty good. Do you have like, anything else you want to talk to me about? Just real, just, just, I'm not trying to insinuate anything, I'm just really wondering if you have, no. You're not a VIP, are you, Callie? And now Jennifer is going for a job as a bar manager. Okay, not really sure uh, exactly how you... Okay, we do need, so I guess manager means, you know, chic. So that's pretty good right there. So we should be able to do this pretty well, even if we get one or two wrong. Probably not terribly a physical job. Purse to work in a structured environment. Yeah, let's go structured environment. Um, and then... Probably nobody watching. Oh gosh, that didn't go so well. But <laughs> we're very well suited to be a bar manager just because we're happy and we were wearing the right clothes. Remember that for job interviews. It's how you get jobs: happy, correct clothes. Ooh, Edna has something she'd like to discuss. All right, that could be good. And Kimberly also has a blot on the landscape. Don't mind if I do. I will capitalize on this. Ooh, that bird for 35 coins. That means quite a lot, actually. 55 with Regina. That's awesome. Okay, now let's go for some intimacy problems. Ooh, maybe we even have another one. Eliza can't come in at 7 like I would want everyone else to. But... No problem. Let's go through and figure out what these two need. I hope it's intimacy problems. I really do. Okay. Problems. That's what we're here for, right? Unknown problem, okay? No problem for me. It definitely looks like... Why did I do that? I know exactly where all of these are. I just always click the wrong one. I think you're fine. Don't worry. You'll be A-OK. -okay. You have time with friends. You have you have one friend, right? Matilda, who also has intimacy problems. So Matilda needs brown hair, and you need black hair. No. Matilda needs black hair, you need brown hair. We'll think about that. Okay, backgammon, lottery tickets, and bookkeeping. Lottery tickets. You might like lottery tickets. Because that could be a glamish thing. Not really sure. I want to know what you are. You must be a hipster. You must be a hipster. So then, perhaps you'd like backgammon. Who doesn't like backgammon? It's a great game. And then what do we have last? We'll try and set you up with everyone. Bookkeeping. That one, we would probably want someone geeky, but... I don't think we're going to get that. Mm. Oh, well, shoot. Jennifer's not going to have intimacy problems, though. That would have been real nice, though. Um, we have you for if we need backgammon for some. Actually, we'll, we'll just hang out with Kimberly and study bookkeeping. The Jennifer one would have been very nice if Jennifer were not a two-star bar manager. Like, that's not gonna get us anywhere real quick. Um, yeah, I think that's all we need you for, Edna. Uh, I will set you up for a salon date, if at all possible, and are you having the same, same trouble? Same? Yep. Yeah. Is off to a great start. Just don't worry about Pixie, okay? Should oh, oh, no, 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 not what I want. Flower arranging. Okay, well, who was the one we were just going to have you hang out with? Uh, we can definitely, let's have you hang out with Jennifer. Practice some flower, really. Flower stuff. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Jeez, okay. Time with friends, not a problem. Mm -mm -mm. So who's, it was Edna. Let's try Edna. Let's do keeping an eye on international relations. I don't know, maybe that's a vintage. Thing. See, it might be kind of chic too. And finally spending time with friends. This last one is probably chic, so maybe 
Are you enemies with Pixie? You might be enemies with Pixie, so that won't work out too well. Let's see. Hmm. We have something with Jennifer. We have something with Edna. Why don't you just do Immaculate Tailoring with uh, Matilda? I don't know if that's going to work out, but, you know, I'm not really concerned if it doesn't. All right, Edna, like I said, we're going to give you some dark brown hair so that uh, Matilda will like you a little bit better. And I already have a salon scheduled for Matilda, apparently, which is a little surprising. Yeah, something Eliza will like. Let's go with that. Does Would Eliza like it? No. No. That's fine. That's fine. You are A-OK -okay right there. I hope Eliza likes it. Yep, that's what we're going for. <laughs> yeah, see, Kitty's got the right idea. All's fair in love and video games. I can do whatever I want to. Ooh, we got the microscope! I think that's what we needed from the lab. Awesome. I love it. Cause, um... We might be done with the laboratory then. We, we donated to their temporal disruptor, you know, as you always should, because... Who needs things that don't blow up? Let's see, do we need the three-star thing from the lab? I think that would be a very good way to tell. It looks like yes we do. Yeah. Whatever this is... It's like a radio of sorts, but I don't really know why they'd have that at a lab. Maybe it's like a... Star plate? That seems like a weird one to have at three star, though. It would probably be something far more fascinating than that, so I mean, we'll have to figure it out. But we are not done with the lab yet, but I believe we did need a microscope, so that works out. We got some gossip going on. We kind of know Claudia. I don't, I don't. It's good. I like it. Oh, good. Oh, good. The two we're trying to get together are very happy that they agree. Oh, good. I'm glad. I love it. That's exactly what I want to see. You guys just keep on talking, all right? Okay, Farah's trying to make a couple friends right now. Or at least, at least with Eliza. Do you like the uniform? No, I'm not really sure it's for you. Okay, oh darn. I was hoping. Didn't really get the enemy thing, so I think that'll be okay, but jeez. It's a little difficult to try and find people who like marching up and down in uniforms. Surprising, right? And now, Eliza's here, just right afterwards. Okay, let's talk about your problems. Is it the problem that I think it might be? Problem with your partner? Her behavior? Your intimate time together? How about that? I think I'll need to think on this one, alright? Alright, so here's the makeover that I had for Matilda. I don't really remember why. Was I getting you a new job or something? I can't remember. I'm going to give you black... Wait, you're going to propose? Sorry, is that what that said? I hope it didn't. I'm going to give you black hair and hope that I heard that wrong. Okay, don't propose. <laughs> no, it said good luck on your proposal. Why did I set up a proposal? This is a terrible thing. You guys aren't like, together yet, are you? Why did I do this? Okay, well, she's getting jiggy with Farah, so that's good. And then just good to bump into pals. I think we'll be okay. I have no idea why I did I guess because I just hadn't had anything started yet, but the... Man, it is going fast and furious now, so I should watch out for that. Pick a uh, problem. Teensy problem that I haven't diagnosed. Okay, I will have to fix some of these. Oh, she's into crocheting. Gross, right? I like crocheting. Okay, so uh, we can help you speak to Matilda about it. I'll try and get her to uh, help you out, but hey, oh my gosh, they better not break up. I just realized that. Like, we are going to have a breakup piece from the intimacy problems. Oh, and the intimacy problems are getting better? That's not allowed. Don't do that. Okay, do we have anyone who would like marching up and down? It's like, what did I go with? Like, you're sporty-ish. Anyone for, uh... 
military uniforms? I don't think so. It's gonna be a little bit tough for you, honestly, Farah. Oh, I hope this doesn't go as bad as I think it might. Let's see if Pixie can fight her demons and make at least one friend. Colorful skinny jeans, you like? Yes, of course you like. Very good. Okay, so Pixie has someone to turn to if she uh, needs a loving embrace that she's not getting from her significant other. And now for some reason, I'm proposing? I don't like this one bit. I mean, I definitely did not give you the makeover that she wanted. We'll see. She might. I wonder if she'll hate it. I wonder if we'll get a bad spot for her hating how she looks. That would be interesting. It is fabulous being here. Oh, we do have the bar. Oh, she hardly even noticed your makeover. I guess that's because it's not that good. She's not in a terribly good mood either, but I brought you a gift because for some reason I thought this was a good idea. I would not do this again. I can tell you that. Ooh, I can tell you that right now. I would not do this again. Um, get naked. Okay, good. Good. Um, uh, just have a takeaway. Nope, nope, you don't like that. Uh, random, random chance. Random chance. There we go. Perfect. Yep, I can see a uh, non-stop sign. Okay, three out of five though. That's still almost a passing grade. Oh, that's gonna be, oh, that's gonna be real bad. We're gonna have four. So here's the deal. We're only cheating if they break up. Bonus points if we hit the green. Wow. Yeah, oh gosh, they're gonna break up. They're gonna break up and we're gonna need to cheat. Oh, that is not going, is not going according to plan. Please guys, do not do this to me. Do not, don't, nope. We're cheating on that one. All right, okay. Do that. Oh my gosh, no. No, 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 <laughs> Everything is awful. No, Matilda, I just got you to the point. Oh, going home to pack right now. Well, that's not good. Go after her, girl. Yeah. Yeah, girl, go after her. You've almost got an affair. <laughs> I need some help with this here. Oh, this, this is terrible. Okay, why shouldn't I like walk out right now? You just don't know me anymore. And we've only we've been dating for like a week. <laughs> but you can't even answer a single question. Okay, well, let's see. Hmm. The breakup mini game might have been what I needed to do on VIP. What do you do for a living? That's a really good question. Are you a game developer? I believe you're a game developer, right? Yeah, so that's good. Where do I like to visit in the town? Probably the bar? I don't have that choice. Casino Hotel. Oh, there we go. It's basically, right? Okay, good. What good habit do I always try and follow? Um, forming an oily cube? No, not that one. Favorite style of food? Shoot, we haven't talked about this. Spicy food. No, no, okay, okay. Favorite eye color? Not hers. Green? That's it? Okay, 50 50. My goodness. It's the wheel of destiny. I am not on, prepared for this. In the slightest. This is way too crazy for me. Oh, it's gonna fail. It's gonna fail. I'm gonna need to... It's gonna pass. It's gonna fail. Oh, shoot. Uh -oh. That's still good. Shoot, shoot, shoot. It's gonna... This one's gonna work. This one's gonna work. This one's gonna... Yes! <laughs> That's what I need. Well done, My gosh. All right. I believe you. I'm prepared to give you another chance. Pretend it didn't happen. All right. Yeah, thanks for this is This is why you don't set up proposals. I can't imagine why I ever thought that was a good idea. Curious, but the relationship is up. That's pretty amazing. All right. Let's get going then. Oh good, and Matilda's still here so we can try and have her make friends with Eliza to just, you know, give her a little bit more reason to be happy in her day-to-day -day life. I suppose she doesn't like plane spotting. Okay, sporty people do not care for practical things. That's pretty much what I've figured out, but I don't have anyone practical in here. Oh man, I hate having towns of all VIPs. This is what an absolute mess this is. No, Eliza. 
you're not going to get proposed to. Oh gosh, you don't spend enough time with friends now, do you, Beatrix? Okay, let's make a compromise. Just wait for me to organize an activity. We will find something for you. I'm a little sure. Like, I'll try? But I really, I don't know. I can't make any guarantees right now. Like, if you were Farah, there's just no hope for Farah. I hate to say it. Actually, Farah might like dubstep. Maybe? I don't know. Dubstep in the real world's kind of an edgy thing. Let's try that. That's still two days out, so I don't know if I'd like that. Glam. Are you friends with Pixie? If not, you should be friends with Pixie. Why don't you get some body piercings with her? Every week, just more and more body piercings. This is far away. Okay, four days. And, um... Another... Do we have another glam person that might uh, like this kind of stuff? Really don't think we have too much. Like, I mean, you're kind of close, but I think you're more of a hippie. Hipster. Oh, there we go. There we go. Alana. Go chat about Hollywood exposés and hope we can do that sooner rather than later. Ooh, we can. Uh, yeah, let's not replace having something to eat. Fantastic. Okay, so we're just going to set you up. I think those are three friends that might actually go through. I think two or three of them at least will, and that's that's pretty good for a VIP. Not perfect, but it's something. Is it, uh, oh gosh, are you having intimacy problems? Good golly gosh. It's an epidemic. Who could have seen this coming? I really need to think about a long-term solution to this problem because this is bad. Um, you have two friends. You know, for a two-star, you're doing pretty well. We have someone who might like folk music. Where's our hippie? Who's our hippie? Uh, it's the one with the necklace. That's your spouse, isn't it? Or are you already friends with them? No, I bet it's your spouse, huh? Hmm. Okay. Oh, please don't give me a satchel of coffee creamer. That's all. Ugh! I hate you all! You and the auditorium person! Absolute worst. Absolute worst! Oh, good. She liked buying lottery tickets. It's fantastic. Oh, and shoot, Edna had a problem that uh, we didn't even get to figure out yet. That works out real well. Two for one. Let's go. What are the odds one of these messages is from her? Okay, we're not going to help with that. Okay, problem with not spending enough time with friends. And, yep. Oh, she, well, she's invited, so now we can just ignore her. <laughs> My favorite. Oh good, and we have more stuff at the cafe, because they have an endless supply of coffee creamer that I guess everyone except for me wants to get their hands on. Do you like playing backgammon as a hipster? Good. Good, yes, let's do that. That worked out real well. Okay, good, we got two friends for you right now. Farrah's still one of the one that I'm really iffy on. That and the hippie lady. But, um... No, Jennifer's the one who's the bar manager now. So I was like, well, she's gonna get a friend right now. No, she's not. Did you like flower arranging? Is it, is it oh, it's good. She liked it. Sweet. Let's get going on that. Awesome. These friendships are working out. But uh, I think we've also got enough enemies being made that uh, one of them will be solved out with a VIP minigame just on the offside chance we need to do that one. Lake is still totally a problemo. Well, stop going there. Everything will be good. Now, confronting Matilda about, hey, you know, maybe I, like, wanted to break up, so now we're here. Okay, great. What did we want to talk about? Your interest in crocheting. Just stop involving me in crocheting, okay? That's all I need. Gosh, there's so much going on at this time. Okay. Pixie and Beatrix trying to become friends. Like, oh my gosh, I'm just trying to finish out the Sunday. And I don't know if I will. I might just need to skip uh, quite a bit more stuff than I was doing. We got friends. Good. That was not one of Pixie's problems, unfortunately. Darn shame. Okay, Pixie, you had a problem. 
Oh, right, and the lake is still a problem. Okay, so stay away from the lake. That's what it was. And then you got a problem literally 30 minutes before you came in. I don't know what happened. That was weird. I really need a fabulous now. I don't want to upset people too much. And of course I don't get one. I haven't gotten fabulous on that game like at all today. So she's going to be upset. We're going to tell her to have another thing about it. And I'm going to try and not get a pour. Well, that's not any better on the first one. Oh, and it would be not spending enough time with friends. It would be that, wouldn't it? Okay, let's fight through this again. You have one person you can hang out with. This is going really well. Granted, she might like running around in tracksuits, so there's that. I think we'll be okay, as long as you can wait until tomorrow. Okay, get out of here, Pixie. You are way too much trouble. Gosh, look at how bad Farah's getting. This is terrible. I might need to use some love juice on her if her problems don't get solved soon, just to make sure that she stays... content? <laughs> Oh, well, we made it to the end of the week, so let's just get our money and get out of here. Wow, this town is going to be a lot of work. That is for gosh darn certain. And our Lara, uh, um, let's tally up our reputation is not going to be doing so hot, I can tell you that right now. But roughly like 3,000 coins will be all good. I will be very happy to have that. Pixie was part of all the enemies, four of them, and we failed an engagement. That's not as bad as I thought, honestly. It's a minus two, uh, all things told, because it gets added one by one. Average, not terrible, and three missions. So, Lab, no broadcasting company, too. Well, thanks, Algernon. I'll get you some flowers, all right, buddy? <laughs> Literature. What do we get? Oh, this is the pro- oh, we have the pro-quality camera- darn it! <laughs> no, I would have liked the lab! <laughs> okay, well, we'll just continue, and we'll call it here, but that seems like a pretty solid place to leave the episode, so let's- well, oh, well we gotta get the additional missions. Four successful cup- successfully lie three times, poten potentially eight problems? Wow, I don't- I think so. Alright. Well. I'm supposed to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Until next time on Kitty Powers Love Life, goodbye.